from Creative Scrimpy and Mummy. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today we're going to be making pretty pockets. Lovely, lovely, lovely things to put in your journals or wherever. Glue them on a page, slip them in a pocket. They're super gorgeous. And I've used images from a collection that I'm releasing for just one pound. One pound. Available on my Kofi. The link's in the description box below. It's 16 pages. This is some of it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a couple of these um, here with you today so you can see how they go together. And then if you want to watch to the end of the video, I'll show you all 16 pages one by one. Okay, so let's get cracking. So this is the first one that I've made. Now I've just used um, 120 GSM printer paper. If you want them more sturdy, print them on lightweight card. So here are some bits that I've cut out for pink tones and I've also cut out some blue tones. So let's have a look. So you've got large tag pockets and then some smaller tag pockets. I've not cut out the smaller ones, have I? No, I've done the larger ones. Um, but you've got them in two sizes and you get heaps of stuff to decorate them, slip in the pockets and you'll have probably have some left over you can make clusters you know rip up some of the pages and make clusters with your leftovers um there's loads you can do okay but there's heaps and heaps of ephemera on these as well so let's uh put one together we'll put a blue one together let's have a look so they've got the bottom pockets that correspond okay so all you need to do is line the bottom pocket up Okay, and where the, the images should kind of like match each other, as you can see there. Okay, so they're kind of overlapping. And then all you need to do is fold it over. Okay, at that side. Fold it over at that side. Now you can either glue the tabs on the back or you can glue them on the front. Depends how you want it okay if you glue them on the front you'll get a little bit more leeway in your pocket if you glue them on the back they'll be a little bit tighter totally up to you so what i do then is just literally ink them this is just vintage photo now when i'm making these the only thing that i'm going to use are the elements that i've cut out from the collection you can add fabric you can add um, lace you can add things you've already got in your collection you can do what you like with them if you do them in cardstock they'll be sturdy enough to punch a hole in the top um, add your eyelets I've just made mine out of um, like I said 120 GSM copy paper so I'll do two at the same time this one's really fun okay and because they're kind of like made from just vintage documents and invoices they'll go with just about anything so whatever theme of journal you're doing they'll match you know it's not a spring theme or a summer theme or a gothic theme that's what i mean the the general so and there are some fun to make maybe if you're not in the mood for making a big journal you want to sit and just have a play and make some pretty pockets <laughs> and some clusters then this is a fantastic kit and for one pound you know it's uh it's just fun isn't it it's cheap fun okay so i'm going to glue this one on some of the elements are quite small and that's so that they're in proportion and um, so that when you're decorating they go nicely on the pockets they're not too big they're not overwhelming it um it's up to you how many you if you've not folded it quite straight like i haven't there just snip it at an angle and then it won't show um you know so there's different sizes but it's just a cute little thing and you know you decorate the pockets with the elements and then also slip things inside um so for this for example i would just distress the edge a little bit with my scissors you could layer up the back of them with the background papers i'm keeping it really simple for the video just to give you an idea of how 
I put them together and what you can do, obviously you can go away and you can make them even better by adding, oh, what I just want to do is at the bottom of there, after I've added the, glued the tab, I just want to add a small bead of glue along the bottom to seal that shut so my ephemera doesn't fall out. You know, you can add your lace, you can add fabric, you can, you can do what you like, okay? So that's that one, let's do this one. So I'm gonna glue these on and then a bead of glue along the bottom to keep it shut. And that will go on there. And if I just line up that Eiffel Tower so that it, the image runs through and give that chance to dry. Just give it a chance to dry before you stick your ephemera in and then it's not getting glued in. <laughs> and then it's just a case of, and it's very simple, you know, if you're a beginner and you're not confident with collaging and things like that, these are really simple because all you've got to do is cut the bits out, ink them if you so desire, you don't have to ink, and load up the pockets, yeah? Load them up how you like. I like that in there. And then I've got this one. This little money wallet. And the, once you've done the cutting out, they're pretty quick to make. Okay. So now along the bottom here. Um, let's have a look. Quite like these as well. So these little tickets, I'm just going to rip one. I'm just going to cut where it's curved there. And curved that. A little bit of ink. Stick it in. You could stick them in. You could staple it on. You could do what you want. So let's have a look at one of the background pages. I think I'm going to use this floral one. So all I'll do here is grab my ripping ruler. If you don't have one of these, just rip it by hand. Okay, just rip it by hand, it's fine, don't matter. And I'm going to go about that wide. I just use a ripping ruler, otherwise it, it, I'd end up with a sliver of a rip. <laughs> and you can layer that on there. Do I actually want, I actually quite like the pink one. You can double up, double up even. You could have a bit of pink and a bit of blue. In fact, I think I'll do that. So I'm going to do the blue one slightly longer than that one. So the colourways, you know, the, you don't have to do blue, pink, green. You can mix and match is what I'm trying to say. Okay. And some people might think, well, that's a, a lot of fuss. But it's the little details like this that make a journal interesting. Now here, I'm just going to glue this strip just on the bottom. Okay, so I've got just a line of glue. Because then what I can do is I can tuck other little mini ephemera down there once it's dry. Okay, and this one I'll glue on fully. And they just look really cute. You know, when you're adding these to your... Um, journal pocket you can add them to a pocket or you could stick it to a page or put a hinge on it it's just little bits of interest interesting things to look at right let's have a look I want something here get off me so like I say you've got this little pocket now here let me just ink that to put these little tiny bits in and how cute does that look a little stamp there, yeah? Uh, so you can put as many as you like in. I'm just going to put that there and that there, I think. I'm going to just fold it. Like that. And you've got little loaded pockets. So what we're going to have here. Yeah, so I'm going to actually rip that ticket. And glue that on there. glue it right up to the edge so we're just layering up 
And then what else have I got? <laughs> what else have I got? I'm going to put this one in this other pocket here. And then you've got these big florals. You could put them in the middle. You could put them to the side like so. Or you could tuck them inside the pocket. I'm actually going to... Am I inking it? I'm not going to ink this one. And I'm going to stick it on my pocket. So about halfway. Like so. And as you can see, these come together awfully quick. <laughs> awfully quick. Uh, butterfly. Yep, that can go on that one. Little butterfly on there. And then we'll have... Let me have a think. Do I, I don't think that actually needs anything else, to be honest. But I think this one needs something going across there. Also, you've got these little circles that you can put behind and then layer up. Super cute. Just ink them. These are fun to make. Really fun to make. And they're always going to be different because you're going to do your layering different to the next person. So they're always going to be unique to you. So there we go. I could ink this and put this in. And this is the beauty of printing them on printer paper you can put you know really fill them pockets with bits and bobs okay i don't do i want that there i don't know if i want it in here i quite like it there i think this one's nice as it is no i don't know i can't decide <laughs> so there you go so you can see how quick they come together shall we do one more let's do one more because i need some for my thumbnail for the video so we've got three there and how lovely are those and then when they're in the journal whoever gets in the journal can pick out all of these little things and have a look and um, they could use them to collage with or they can just have them just as interest is that upside down just as interest okay one two so we've done three so let's do one more and then uh, i think you've kind of got the gist so i've already stuck the pocket on this one so we've got little tags little mini tags that layer up where's the top one there's the so they're different so you could put those together and tie a little bit of string on them and slip them in a pocket okay so let's have a look right so i think i'm going to do the same and i think i'm going to use the ripping paper to create another pocket on our pocket <laughs> because we can do what we want Okay, and all you need are little bits of paper, like that. I don't want to cover that stamp up. So I'm going to, let's have a look what we've got here. I quite like my little flowers. So I do like those. We've got little birds, little cut out birds. Might actually stick that on this tag here. So you can, you know, Customise even these little pieces with other little bits of ephemera or sticky little tags on. We've got little, you know, paint strips, words. We've got, what's this one? A little circle. And, you know, so you can layer them up and you could just staple them if you wanted so you could layer them up like so and then just staple them you could do what you like right let me sort this one out so let's just have glue again just along the bottom and i'm just going to go up the sides to make like a so that the ephemera don't fall out i'm going to put this one quite close to the bottom okay and then i think i'm going to have my flower just there, my little flower. Okay, like so. I have got a little butterfly here. I've not cut it out, let me quickly cut it out. So when you're fussy cutting, 
the best way to do is to start cutting and then turn your image okay keep squeezing the scissors as you turn the image that's the theory behind fussy cutting that's as complicated as it gets but what i say is do it however you're comfortable okay however you're comfortable you can take your time and it comes with practice okay the more you do it the better you get and if you accidentally slip and you go over the black line just add a little bit of distress ink nobody will be any the wiser okay i don't bother cutting out antennae on the butterflies i cut them off i've not got time for that i'm not about that life <laughs> nobody will notice okay nobody will care you can add glossy accents onto stuff to highlight them or glitter glue or whatever you could stamp on these although the images are busy enough as they are they don't really need stamps um but you could add modeling paste whatever you like i've got my little my little thingy going on there right so what we're going to put in here so i'm going to have this here and what I'll do off camera is I will layer these up and add a little bit of string so that they, it's like a double layered tag. So they'll go together like so. Okay, and then slip in there. Yep. So just a little hole with the smallest hole you can find or just poke one with a pokey tool if you haven't got a small hole punch. Just poke one with a poke tool and thread a bit of string through to join them together. Okay. And that can go there like that. And then we've got these little bits of... What else have I got? We've got these little bits of words and things like that. We can slip those in. That, this one was actually one of the pockets for one of the smaller tags but I can just trim it ink it and use that as ephemera okay and we'll have this like so and then maybe a little bird on the top yeah let's ink the bird ink the bird okay so you can make yourself just long little clusters like this could have it that way or that way and then do we want a do we want a word on there quite like that some of them are small but it's so that they're in proportion no, I'm going to leave it as it is. And what I'm going to do there, am I going to get a little paper clip? Let me see if I can find my little paper clips. I'm not always prepared. I am sorry. Paper clips, here we go. I've got these little paper clips that I got from that place that must not be mentioned, beginning with Temu. <laughs> <laughs> now I like these paper clips however they are quite tight so I have to just give them a bit of a pull okay and then I can just clip those together and I've got myself a little bundle of ephemera that I can just slip in there as well okay how cute how cute yeah and then I can just have a little word quite like this Paris and for this I would just rough it up a little bit give it a little bit of an ink because we do like the ink on the ephemera non-essential but it just makes it stand out then you see it's like you know just a little bit of something is that wing glued down I could do with that wing not being glued down there we go just tuck it under and we've got a little Paris word there okay so there you go that's just a very quick and easy demonstration okay you can put things on there you can 
add circles onto there and then snip it off, ink it. You can do all sorts with them. Um, I, I wanted these little cute tags in here. So these are my little cute tags. Again, I can tie a little piece of string and then they can just slip in that little pocket there. I've got a little stamp. They're so cute. I've got a little tag, a little label. I can slip that in there as well. Do it that way. How cute are those? I'm not being funny, but those are cute. Okay, so, and I've got heaps of ephemera left. Okay, when I've finished all my pockets, if I've got some left, I will literally rip up bits like this and I'll make myself some little ephemera, some little clusters. So I might add a word there and then I might add this little fake stamp or I might add the stamp underneath at an angle, that on top, and then my little paint chip there, or just a bit lower down. And I've got myself a little, a little, you know, cluster going on. Add a butterfly or whatever, you know, just adding a few bits and bobs. And you've got, you can, so nothing's gonna go to waste. If you spend the time cutting them out, nothing will go to waste because what you've got left, make clusters from it. So there you go. So if you watch the next part of the video, I will be showing you all 16 pages that you are going to get to create these beautiful, pretty pockets. And it's only one pound. What are you waiting for? The link's in the description below. Let's watch the next uh, section. Okay, so here is the collection that I have used for my pretty paper pockets. It will be available on my coffee. The link is in the description box below. So these 16 pages, um, please excuse my hands, I've been planting lavender this afternoon. <laughs> so here are the pockets. So they are tag shapes, and then the pockets here, as you will have seen by my sample, you cut them out, you fold them over, and you glue them onto there. And these kind of line up, um, so it's the bottom half of that. So they look super pretty. And the fun thing about these is that they will go with any project. They'll go in any folio, they'd go in any um, journal. You could glue them to the page, add them to pockets, make flips out of them, whatever you like. So those are the larger ones. And then we have some smaller ones. Okay. Again, different colourways um, made from vintage um, invoices. Okay, so these are kind of pink and cream tones, all right? And then here is a sheet of pink and cream ephemera to go with, okay? And then we have a lovely floral uh, rose background with some script, which uh, goes with the kind of pink tones collection. And then we've got this one, which has got these lovely flower baskets, and I've done that in a pink tone as well. And then I made these, um, which are like roses. It's the same paper as this one, I think. I think it's the same paper as this. And then I found another rose. But I've just done it in a slightly different tone. So then there's a variety, um, you know, so that everything's not the same colour. Then we have the blue collection. Um, <coughs> some of these were given to my Kofi members. Okay, and I think the blue one was a freebie for a short period of time in my Facebook group, but it was a limited freebie, so I've added it to this collection. So these are some smaller blue pockets with some blue ephemera for you to fussy cut out and slip inside the pockets. Okay, and then there's some more ephemera to go with the blues. Okay. And then here are some larger blue tags. These have never been um, available to anybody. These are all new. So these are, I've just changed the colour of them. And I think they've turned out really, really pretty. So again, you can use the same ephemera um, that you've got for the others. Or you can use your own ephemera. Here's some blue um, vintage wallpapers. So the idea of these is I use them and I rip them up to make clusters with them. Okay, or you can make your own things out of them. And then there's the floral with the script in the lovely blue tone to go with the blue pretty pockets. Then we've got them in the neutral tone. Okay. 
um, and I've also done, so those are the larger ones. This is the smaller one with the ephemera and it's all been changed to a neutral tone. So you've got several different colourways. You've got pink, blue, neutral and then these are the smaller neutrals. Okay, And then we've got them in a soft green, almost like a sage colour. Um, so again, you've got the same ephemera, totally different colour. So you're going to get a totally different look. So if you're doing a specific colour theme, you've got pink, blue, sepia and green. Yeah, that's right. And so the background papers, I've transformed those to green as well again. So you can rip them up and use them. So beautiful. So I think no matter what colour you, is your preference, you're going to find something that you like in this collection. So if you'd like to make that purchase, it is at a very, very, very low cost for 16 pages of beautiful, beautiful, pretty pockets at a very, very minimal cost. Um, so there you go. If you'd like to make some pretty, pretty pockets, um, you can... Find the link to my Kofi in the description box below. I can't decide if I like the pink or the blue. I can't decide. Or the green. <laughs> I can't decide which is my favourite. But you've got an awful lot to play with there. Um, 16 pages, multiple images on each page. Beautiful background papers. Lots and lots of little fussy cut ephemera to make those pockets super pretty. So I hope you like that and I hope you'll give the pretty pockets a try. You can make them as simple or as decorative as you like and uh, just go and have some fun with them. In and between your larger projects. <laughs> They're a no-brainer. Really, really pretty. So I hope you like those. Thanks for joining me. Take care and I'll see you again soon.